What's up, guys? Chris Tanner. Just enjoying my time off. Checking out the Olympics. I tell you, boy, that Michael Phelps is a badass, ain't he? 20 gold medals. But the purpose of this video is to address the little... Oh, my goodness. Dang, he about to get the world record again. But anyway, um, shouts out to all my metal heads in welding school. No, no problem. It's good that you go to a welding school, especially if you want to um, 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 get that one-on-one -on -one experience. A lot of um, welding instructors, they've never been out there in the field, but some of them, they actually have been out there in the field, and they know what they're talking about. A lot of them don't. I'm going to just be honest with you. I mean... If you're in welding school, if you're out there in the community college, great. Use that time for shop time. And what I mean by shop time, I mean in the booth time. Okay, I actually took that path back in the day. Um, but it was all about laying down a bead. Whenever I laid a bead down, listen, it was all about the money. It was all about the money. Every bead I laid down, I thought about a dollar. Because you got to think about it like this. Whenever you finish your welding program or whatever, you don't even got to finish. But don't let me spoil what you're trying to do. But what I'm trying to get at is this here. All you got to do is to be able to pass a welding test. I don't give a damn if you've been welding two weeks. If you got good enough or if you can tweak your brain to where you can get your... Your, your, your hand to do what your brain actually sees and want it to do? Listen, you got a job. I don't care if the job is paying $50 an hour. If you can pass that well test, that 6G pipe test, most of the time it's a super coupon. It's a real thick pipe, about an inch and a half, sometimes an inch thick. Okay, and it's usually a two inch. And uh, you got TIG the root, TIG the hot pass, and stick it out with a 7018 rod that's the common test and I know I'm being kind of blunt with you but uh, it, it is what it is listen you don't want nobody lying to you and I'm going to tell you straight you can ask me all the questions you want to ask me I've been welding since I might not look listen I might not look like I've been around for a while or even look like the type that should be in the welding field, but who gives a damn? But I'm gonna tell you what. Hey, it won't no easy damn journey. But my whole thing is about it is uh it's money for me and you. Me and you. Okay, it's enough money out there. It's a, it's a it's a it's a real high demand for welders. So my whole thing is, look, I'm going to teach you everything you want to know, if you want to know it, if you want to make a lot of money. So right now, um, I'm on a job that's, that's paying $40 an hour. Um, and, and this is, uh, uh, you know, this is the truth. You know, you know. Um, so again, the whole thing about this video tonight is this here. I had a question that was asked to me. I could have sit there and wrote and wrote the response back, but damn, I really don't. I really didn't feel like it, to be honest. I'd rather make a video because if one person got a question, you best to believe, sometime, some point in time in the future, somebody else is going to have that same question. And okay, yeah, it does make sense if I would have went up there and just uh, wrote the response, but I, I don't feel like it. Sorry. But the whole thing about it is this here. That well video I got up there where you see me uh, putting a cap on that two inch heavy wall at a, at a particular site I was at. Um, that test was a stick. It was actually a TIG the root, TIG the hot pass. So it wasn't a, a stick all the way out. Okay. That root pass I put in with that 70S2 wire, that ER 70S2 carbon wire, I put it in on 90 amps, okay, 90 amps, that heat range, I don't care what nobody tell you, listen to me now, that range can go from 85 to 90, that's the rule of thumb, 85 to 90, 
Now keep in mind, the gap I'm using is a 532 gap. It's always good to use a wide gap because you can see your mistakes or you can see exactly what you're doing. It's easier. Um, if you try to use a 1 8 gap, okay, you might you might get it in. And it could go in. I'm going to tell you. You could do it with a, 1 8, a loose 1 8 gap, not a tight 1 8 gap. And what I mean by loose 1 8 gap, I mean uh, where that wire sits in. And it sinks in just a little bit. Don't fall all the way through, but just a little bit. But before um, before I let you go, you take that root. Your heat range from 85 to 90. I did it on 90 with a 532 gap. You can see you you can actually see how you break the walls down clearly, side to side. Hold that wire a little bit below the bevel. A little bit below the bevel. Hold that wire a little bit below the bevel. And go side to side, side to side, and push a little bit. Okay, I'm going to make a video, and I'm going to show you exactly what I mean, and how I mean, and exactly how it go. Whenever I get this web page up, I'm going to have all sorts of videos to teach you how to weld all sorts of things. Schedule 10, whatever, you name it, I got it. Okay, so okay, so moving from that TIG weld, moving from the, um, let me get my train of thought right, moving from that, um, that TIG and that root. Okay, so after I take, put the root in, I did a hot pass. I did about two passes. Okay, because you want to run stringers. You don't want to be running too wide. You could if you want, but I run a stringer over my root. I, want, I ran one stringer along the side and another stringer along the other side. Okay, put enough meat in there so when you strike off on that stick weld, if you strike off on top of that uh, TIG fill of metal you put down, you don't blow through. So you got to put enough meat in your hot pass okay and that's just a matter of just making passes what temperature you want to use at your hot pass uh... after you put your root in you can take your temperature up to uh... whatever you're comfortable with i personally do it at around about one thirty five and that's ticking my hot passes at one thirty five just to make sure they tie in you can go up to one forty five if you want but don't be going all crazy to one fifty five and you can do that if you want but you gotta be careful okay you got to be careful that you don't, um, that was my daughter. You got to be careful that you don't uh, blow through that root, okay? Some temperatures might work for different people, but I'm going to tell you exactly how to do it, okay? 532 is your gap wire. Yo, I'm sorry, your gap size. It's a for sure way. But to take it back, I'm losing my train of thought because my boy, Michael Felt, is getting ready to step on, uh, step on that platform, you know, USA, we taking it, you know, you know, USA in the house, okay, anyway, but listen, um, let's go to the uh, stick wire, stick wire, stick rod, your electrode, whatever you want to call it, your stick rod, okay, when you're getting ready to do your fill passes, 90 amps, I don't care what nobody else say, 90 amps, you can take the 92 or 91, but the rule of thumb for me is 90. Perfect. 90. That slag, you can tap it and it'll fall off. Watch the video um, that I got posted up for you to watch. Um, 90 amps. Okay, Lincoln Electrode make a real good stinger. Very light. Just Google Lincoln Electrode. Um, and they can, they can put you on point. They got a lot of uh, electrodes you can use. Or AKA stingers. Electrode holders, I'm sorry. Uh, AKA stingers. So uh, check it out. I got a Lincoln Electrode 90 amp stinger. The only the, what happens when you use that 90 amps if you decide to go with a 1 8 wire and you might be pumping uh, 126 amps with that 1 8 electrode, is what I meant to say. If you're using that 1 8 7018 electrode and uh, you got that uh, 90 amp. Lincoln Electro that you see me using is very light. It's nice to use, not too heavy. And like my man said from Tulsa, shouts out to Tulsa Welding School. It, it, you know, you can keep it steady. You can keep it, it, you know, it's not too much pressure and, and you're able to weld steady. Um, the only thing that's going to happen with that 90 amp stinger is it's going to heat up in your hand just a little bit. It ain't going to kill nothing. That stinger, you're going to feel it heat up in, in your hand a little bit. Uh, don't worry. Get you a thicker glove, okay? But uh, besides that, 90 amps all the way out from fill to cap. 90 amps from fill to cap. Remember that.
90 amps from field to cap. Uh, my man from Tulsa asked that question tonight. Sorry, I could, I, you know, I didn't um, write you back, but I decided to make a video because that's my thing. And like I stated before, I, I really didn't, I really wasn't in the mood. Okay. So there you have it. Uh, let's see what else. Um, how many cover passes? Okay. The rule of, you usually want three cover passes for that, uh, that size pipe I mentioned earlier. That two inch heavy wall. Okay, three passes. But don't worry. If you uh, finish your three passes and you see that you got a little undercut that that foul don't want to get out. And if you try to foul out, you might foul down too deep. And the uh, inspector might look at it and, and, and call you out. What they call look you out. That means your ass is gone and you don't have a job. And if you feel, again, if you feel like that undercut is a little bit uh, too deep, you might want to throw another pass on it. Don't worry. I've put up to five passes, okay, not big wide.